we are going to be programming in what's known as a sequence logic or a step logic. And what that means is one step must occur before the next step can. So step one must happen, then step two must happen, and step three must happen, and step four, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You as the programmer determine those steps. You can have as many steps or as few steps as you choose to program. I typically like to program a step for each action. So if something is going to happen, that's going to be a step. So if something is going to extend, that would be a step. If something is going to retract, that would be a step. So what I'd like to do now is let's look at the station and let's really figure out how many steps we're going to need for this particular station. Okay, now that we've uh, finished up our work bits, we really need to think about how we're going to control this station and we're going to set up our sequence of events. So with that, every time I press the start PB, we're going to see some motion happen up here and I'm going to call out each and every one as an individual step, which means that step is going to perform a certain function. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. Very first push, I'm going to press it and you're going to see that this cylinder is going to extend forward. I call this the base cylinder. So when I press this button, the base cylinder is going to extend. That is step one. So now step one. And as you can see, the cylinder has extended. We are now ready for step two. In step two, I'm going to call this cylinder the inspection cylinder. And I'm going to extend it and it is going to run down. But let's note first under step one that this light is on right here for this output which is F plus, which is controlling this cylinder. So step one is extend the base cylinder. The light comes on and now we're ready for step two. Step two is extend the inspection cylinder. So I'm gonna go ahead and press the button now and we have step two. Okay, the cylinder has extended. The input light is on. The output also to energize the valve is on. And now we are ready for step three. Step three will be to retract the inspection cylinder and at that point this light is going to go off and this light is going to go off because you remember if we remove the electrical signal the cylinder will retract. Okay and that is step three. Now step four is to retract the base cylinder and we can see that it's already extended due to the input light on and the output light on as well. So when I press the button, we will retract the base cylinder, which is step four. So step four, retract the base cylinder. Okay, and as you can see, it retracted. Now, the next step that I would program in this station is to move the bearing housing over. So I'm going to call this cylinder the pusher cylinder. So when I press this button, we will see the pusher cylinder engage. I will shove the part over, and at that time we'll see a light come on here for the output, and we'll also see the light come on here for the input. Okay, so this is step five, extend the pusher cylinder. Okay, we can see that the pusher cylinder is extended now. The input to turn it on is on, and the output that energized the actuator is also on. Okay, so now at this point, we're going to initiate the next step, which is going to be step six, which is going to be to retract this pusher cylinder. So if I push the start button one more time, this should retract the cylinder. The lights should both go off as soon as I press the button. Step six, retract the pusher cylinder. Okay, and the pusher cylinder is now retracted. So our next step now is we're just going to go ahead and reject the part. Good or bad, we're going to reject. So we're going to see the rejection cylinder extend. So as soon as I push the button, we will reject the part. Step seven is extend the rejection cylinder. And you can see the body has been kicked off of the station. So now at this point we have the rejection cylinder extended and we also have the light over here which turns it on and tells it to extend. OK, 
Okay, so now at this point, I'm going to press the button one more time, which will retract the rejection cylinder. And at that point, this light will then go off. So retract the rejection cylinder. And as you can see, the cylinder just retracted. So now, one more step, we'll complete it. If I press the button one more time, that is reject cycle complete. So at this point, we have defined our series of events, our step logic. I recommend that you use the steps that I just called out, which was nine steps total. We'll go through one more time, a little bit faster now, just calling out each step as it occurs. Step one is extend the base cylinder. Step two is extend the inspection cylinder. Step three is retract the inspection cylinder. Step four is retract the base cylinder. Step five is extend the pusher cylinder. Step six is retract the pusher cylinder. Step seven is reject the body. Step eight is to retract the rejection cylinder. And then step nine finally completes the reject cycle complete. So now that we have the reject cycle complete, we know all the series of events and the steps it's going to be required to program it, we can add those to our Excel file.